Hey girls, are you as concerned about the upcoming zombie apocalypse as I am? Many of the techniques that you and I have learned in women's self-defense classes may not work when we're battling the reanimated undead. So I'm here to offer you tips on how you can modify your self-defense training to protect yourself from a zombie. The first tip is to make sure you always kick it in the genitals. You may have heard that this is a disable to the male attacker and you should punch or kick him in the groin and then run away. The problem is that zombies could be male or female and due to bodily decomposition, you may not have they may not have any genitals at all. Instead of lashing out towards the groin area, try this. Knock the zombie into the ground with a shovel and plant your foot in his chest cavity and kick his head off with his shoulders. That usually kills them. I promise you. Tip number two is to carry around a whistle and you can blow it when you can alert someone nearby when you're being attacked. But during a zombie apocalypse, everyone else may be too busy fighting zombies to come to your aid, so your whistle isn't going to work in this case. Even worse, the people you're calling to help you are probably dead because they didn't listen to this video and hear my tips. Instead of blowing up the ineffective whistle, whistle try this. Borrow a flamethrower from a local glass blowing shop and turn it on high and incinerate 12 of the undead bastards in one broad, sweeping motion. Tip number three, try one of the over 200 zombie combat simulations on zombiegameworld.com and prepare for the oncoming onslaught. Zombiegameworld.com. Check your brains at the door.